lift high across the love of Christ proclaim till all the world had known his sacred name. Come, gracious Father, where our captain tried, our king victorious, Christ the Son of God. Lift high across the love of Christ proclaim till all the world. from 2 Timothy, beginning in the first chapter on the 15th verse and running through the second chapter. You are aware that all who are in Asia have turned away from me, including Phygelus and Hermogene. May the Lord grant mercy to the house of Nesiphorus, because he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chain. When he arrived in Rome, he eagerly searched for me and found me. May the Lord grant that he will find mercy from the Lord on that day. And you know very well how much service he rendered in Ephesus. Then you, my child, be strong in grace that is in Christ Jesus, and what you have heard from me through many witnesses entrust to faithful people, who will be able to teach others as well. Share in suffering like a good soldier of Christ. No one serving in the army gets entangled in everyday affairs. The soldier's aim is to please according to the enlisting officer. And in the case of an athlete, no one is crowned without competing according to the rules. It is the farmer who does the work who ought to share in the first crops. Think over what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding in all things. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. That is my gospel, for which I suffer hardship, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect, so that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. The saying is sure. If we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him, if we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. It's pretty obvious by reading the letters of Paul that he led a rough life. You know, he started out as a persecutor of the church, was struck blind by God, had to go to the people that he was chasing and trying to inflict real harm on and ask for help, and then he spent the rest of his life preaching. And a lot of that was done from jail. These letters to Timothy were probably written at a time when he was locked up, when his outgoing ministry was over, and it was still something where the gospel was at work. He says, even when it is hard, God is present. I love the last couple of verses here. It's probably one of the first songs of the Christian faith. If we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. There have been so many times in my life where a hymn or a song will just stop me dead. Where I'll hear it and I'll be instantly taken back to that moment that I first remember hearing it or singing it next to my grandparents who are gone or all the ways that I am reminded that God is present and God is faithful. And here in the letters, we can see the same thing. The reminder that as people of God, we've always had that even when the world doesn't seem right, God continues to be at work in our lives. 
I, I pray that this is a time that you're able to see that. I pray that winter doesn't last very long and we'll be able to be back outside. And really, if there's anything that the church can do for you, please let us know and let us pray. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, watch over us in this broken world now and always. Thank you for the gift of song that connects us to you. In your name we pray.